Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News update and our 2022 Road to the Olympia. We are sitting here today with a top five Olympian, someone you all know very well. He just got back from the gym. Hunter Labrada, welcome to the show. Hey, Dave. Not too hey. long of a road left to the Olympia at this point. <laughs> no, no, we, we got fumes left. You know, I, I wanted to ask you this. This is the reason I actually had you on for this interview, because I really want to ask you this question. You know, you probably have like 50-50 people. 50% of the people think you could win the Olympia this year. And I hear it. I, Branch Warren came on the show and said, I think Hunter could win this year. He's, uh, you know, I got him first or second. And then you got the other 50% that don't even have you in the top six. What, what's with this disparity? How come people can't, you know, th there's like two camps that are completely in different, you know, different realms of, of, of reality. So I, I think it's a couple of things. Um, first and foremost, and uh, like, I don't know if this is going to sound like a cop out to people, but at this point, you know, brass tacks of as it is, is my look does not translate well in photos or videos, like at all. Like, and that's by myself or like on stage. Like if I sure. was looking at the Olympia from last year and I wasn't there in person and I was just right. looking at the webcast, I would have been like, what the fuck is he doing in fourth? <laughs> <laughs> but I'll just, call, I'll just call it what it is. So that that's yeah. one thing for sure is I really don't feel like my look translates and that works well for me because bodybuilding is judged in person. Um, yeah. You know, the comments that I get a lot from people are, you know, like the texture of your skin and the level of your conditioning doesn't really show through at all in pictures. And then mm -hmm. you can't really get a feel for the size that I actually am looking at pictures, you know? So I feel like I'm a lot bigger in person and a lot better shape in person, you know, typically in the past. And then, you know, I'll be honest about this year. This year's a whole different ball game in terms of conditioning. I was better than I was on stage at the Olympia probably ten days ago now. So wow, it's gonna be it's gonna be different this year. Yeah, you know, I Branch told me that too when I was interviewing him. He said that you yeah, know, he's you one of those people I have in my corner that's been getting real regular updates the whole time. Yeah. I'm pretty closed off in terms of you know outside eyes and outside help, but. uh you know, him being in Dallas and him, you know, definitely call him a mentor at this point. You know, he's one of the very few people that I do like let in from the outside. So I do value his opinion very much. So he said, you know, he said he, you know, he heard that you were looking good. And then he went and saw you in person. This was this was like probably a month or two ago. And he was he was so impressed in person. So you must not be telling you must be telling us the truth. In essence, you look better in person than you do in pictures. And, you know, I know, I know a lot of people that are like that. But that is like literally I get it from just about every person that looks at me and sees me in person. It's like, you know, Hani was at the gym too. And Hani was like, I had no clue you're this big. You know, it's, it's <laughs> one of those things. So That's for it to be coming from my peers and people that I respect regularly, I do feel like it's something that should be at least kind of considered. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's definitely to be considered. Uh, Sean Roden probably looked like the, the 15th place guy a week or two out from the show, Chris Decida would send me pictures of him. And I'm like, you know, I don't know if you, I don't want to like insult you, Chris. He doesn't look that he goes, I know, right. He looked terrible. I'm telling you in person, he looks, he looks completely different. And then he'd show up at the show and he'd, he'd win the show. I mean, so some people just don't translate well. And it's usually the guys that have the shape and structure with the small waist that it doesn't look as impressive in pictures until you're all tanned up and you're on stage, you know? And, then, you know, at the end of the day, I don't have any really out-of-whack body parts either. No. You know, like, I feel like that helps your pictures look freaky is if you have, like, really, like, you know, oddly, like, that is a really freaky body part compared to the rest of you kind sure. of going, you know? So, right. you know, take it for what it is. It, like yeah. I said, it works out well. The bodybuilding sure. is just in person for me. Yeah. <laughs> Let me, here's a good, I'm going to give you a scenario. That I want you to just give me your impression. on. If you had to pick the top five guy, in other words, we know who the top 10 guys are pretty much out there. If you had to pick the top five that you want to compete against, who would they be? Who would the guy be the guys that you want to be compared against? Like if, if you had to pick your top five, who would they be? Man, you're doing a really good job of making me drop names, and I really do not want those people to drop names. But no, because they're, they're guys that you would favorably you know, you compare asked, against. You asked in a way that I'm okay with saying it. Um, yeah. I think this year's top five will be the same as last year's top five, with the major, 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 major wild cards being um, Derek, um, William Binock, and Andrew. So. Okay. 
you know, I've seen William in person. I've seen Derek in person. I know what they're like. And then, you know, obviously Andrew's had the season he's had, and I've had people that I respect their opinions and like, yeah, he's the real deal in person. So nice. those are the three outside of last year's top five that I say really could shake things up. And, you know, at the end of the day, like looking at the list, there is half of the field that is going to finish in last place. That's true. There are a lot of very, very, very good bodybuilders that are going to mm-hmm. finish and tied yeah. for last this year. This is year's Olympia is nuts. Right. But we, I guess my question, maybe I didn't word it right. Who would, who do you see yourself matching up with better? Like, in other words, if I were you, like, I would be like, I don't really want to compete against Rami because Rami's just bigger than everyone. Like I would rather match up with guys like who are, you know, structure guys. Well, like yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, Dave, this year, like I trained to win all year. I'm going to the Olympia right. to try and win the Olympia. It's going to be Rami. Yeah. yeah. It, it's going to be Rami. I'm going to need to match up against him. I feel like <laughs> I, match up, I feel like I can match up well, you know, um, obviously he is going to be the biggest person on stage by far, but you know, I've added size in the places that I needed to and, you know, maintain my waistline and, you know, I have my shape. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's not like a uh, David versus Goliath thing anymore in my book. I feel like it's uh, a little more level of the playing field for me and some right. of you guys. So, like I said, I'm excited about this year. Where do you see Rami's biggest weakness? Um, if I had to say a weakness, and, you know, it's it's more of a structural thing. It's just like the, the lower lat, lower back area. And, you know, yeah. I'm one to talk about it, obviously. <laughs> but, you know, if I had to, like, nitpick a physique, that's where I would say for sure. Mm-hmm. And and obviously conditioning, we don't – that's a wild card with him. You know, you never know what you're going to get. You, know, you never know how he's going to turn up. You know, he could be, you know, peeled out of his mind. He could be a little soft. He could be – a little soft at prejudging and then hard as nails at finals. And he could be, you know, absolutely on the market both when right. you're that size, it's not always a uh, easy thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in essence, there, there is vulnerability there. And I think that's always good for a challenger who's up and coming to know that the Mr. Olympia, yeah, he's, he's the biggest guy there and he's the reigning champ, but He's he is beatable, you know. He's it's not like he's unbeatable. Like I always felt that Ronnie I mean, have like a prime time fill or a prime time Ronnie thing where it's like okay, right. if they don't royally screw the pooch, they won <laughs> they won again this year, you know. Right. <laughs> and you knew, and you knew those guys never would be off really. I mean, Ronnie, Dorian, and and Phil were very very in their careers were very infrequently ever off. They were very consistent for sure. Yeah, so that's why they're they're some of the greatest to ever do it. Let's switch divisions for a second. Who do you like in the uh, classic? Do you think, can Bumstead be beat? I think he can be beat. I don't know if he will be beat this year. Um, I think that's going to be, you know, is I don't. If I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really keep up with classic as much as I should outside of the people that I'm personally friends with and the top right. guys. But you know, like the top five to ten in classic, that's going to be a bloodbath, just like an open, and I'm excited to watch it for Will sure. You- when you see a guy like Bumstead with the – he's got some ridiculous amount of followers on Instagram. I forget what the number is up to right now. But he's the most famous bodybuilder on the planet right now, for sure. You know, Chris Aceto was telling me his son in high school, they, they're talking about Bumstead. Like, I mean, why is he what, – what's with this – why does Bumstead have such mainstream appeal? Why are, every, why are people who don't even know anything about bodybuilding talking about this guy? I think personally – you know, obviously his physique's incredible. I think it's like on the very, 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 very like outer realm of attainable to a more mainstream audience. I think that kind of plays into it. Um, second thing, credit or credit's due, dude's a handsome dude. So like, you know, he appeals to mainstream <laughs> mainstream people for that for sure. And then, you know, more so than anything, I really think that Chris has reached the level of popularity that he has because of the way that he carries himself. You know, there, there's plenty of really good bodybuilders in the world, but there's not a lot of good humans in the world. And the way that he carries himself and the way that he's been able to, uh, you know, present himself, he's he's created a, uh, you know, persona that draws people. You know, he's a very positive person. He's a very motivating person. You know, he's just, you know, he checks all the boxes and he's, he's, uh, he's, he's a good role model. So, you know, I think, I think, you know, you put in, you combine that level of athletic performance, you know, which is he's the greatest on the planet, what he does right now, 
with that air of, you know, humility and just the fact that he's had the level of success he has in a business realm. I feel mm-hmm. like it's very, uh, you know, like uh, someone to look up to for, especially for a younger crowd. Cause Chris is younger than I am still. And, you know, he is doing it. So that's my opinion on Chris. I think he's a good dude. The reason I asked you that question, not anyone else, is because I feel that you could be that to open bodybuilding because you're young. You also got a, 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 a look that's more attainable, I think. It, at least people think that it's attainable. They don't realize how hard it is to get to look like Bumstead or you and, and the genetics behind that. But it, it is an attainable look. You're also, you know, a, an approachable, very, you know, you're an open guy. You're not like a guy who treats people like, you know, crap or thinks you're better than anyone else. And I think that that, you know, that you would be good for bodybuilding if, if you ever were in that top seat at some point. Well, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's not lost on me that I'm able to do, you know, this is like something that I say really regularly. It's not lost on me that I'm able to do what I love with the people that I love for a living because of, you know, all of the people that support me and the fans and, you know, the people that follow our sport. And, you know, it's one of those things, even on days where I feel like shit and this, that and another, you know, it's like mm. your your 30 second interaction with someone can like literally like change their life and to have yeah. that ability you know, like, I don't know. It's something that you should, you should really cherish and champion and carry. So, you know, at the end, of, like I said, you know, I'd much rather be known as a good human than a great bodybuilder. There's plenty of great bodybuilders. Amen. Amen to that. Dumpster yeah. fires of humans. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, last question. I'll let you go. Your father. I got to ask you about your father. It, he probably doesn't tell you this, but do you, do you get this sense like that your father's kind of like, tickled about the whole process that you're up there at the Olympia and competing. It's like, it's almost like he could live a little vicariously through you again. Uh, no, he, uh, he loves it. Um, <laughs> I know, know I would. As, no, as no, I no, would. No, no, no. Growing up, I played football and we always used to joke because like Thursdays would roll around and he'd be at the office and he'd be, you know, so nervous. He wouldn't get as much work done as he normally would on Thursdays and Fridays, all four <laughs> years of high school. And, you know, so Fast forward and the uh, the stakes are a little bigger and, you know, it's a little closer to home, obviously, being bodybuilding. Right. And, you know, yeah, it's uh, it's something really cool for my whole family to experience. You know, yeah. it's, you know, this year at the Olympia, it's my mom, my dad, my brothers, my daughter, you know, my wife, everyone, everyone will be there. Everyone's, you know, supported me through all this. And, you know, at the end of the day, bodybuilding has given my family everything. You know, your, your, your mother's into it though i i because i'm always like my, my, my mom is is like weapon x for bodybuilding really it's, oh okay that's awesome dude, my mom was with my dad through everything my mom tanned my dad for all of his shows. that's why i thought maybe she'd go the other direction she might have been sick of it yeah, already you know she's all about it she loves it <laughs> yeah, she's, honestly my mom has a better eye than most coaches too really wow well, like, right. you know, like, like truly like from a bodybuilding sense she can look at you and be like you need to dry out or you need to eat a little more and wow. you know, she's she on the money yeah it's, it's fun it's a family affair for sure so if mom says you look good you know you're on the mark in other words if anyone in my family actually says i look good i know we're, we're doing something <laughs> right they're all uh, yeah, harsh critics there you go well I want to wish you the best of luck on the last uh, week of prep. And uh, I know you got a, a tough week coming up, but uh, then all the fun begins at the Olympia there. And uh, like you said, it's all about enjoying the process and influencing the fans and being a positive role model. And I, I think you've embraced that uh, aspect of the sport probably better than anyone else. So best of luck. I appreciate that, Dave. I'm sure I'll see you in person in Vegas. Looking forward to catching up. All right. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. And guys, that'll take us to the end of this RX Muscle News update and road to the Olympia 2022. See you next time.